today I'm going to be doing a favorite drugstore eyeshadow video for you guys. I just wanted to really find some really good products at the drugstore because there's not that many and I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on the ones that I do like from the drugstore. Um, I really hate that I don't have many to show you, but I really dug deep in my collection. So if you'd like to see more, then of course continue to watch. Okay guys, as you can see, I don't have many shadows um, from the drugstore. I just pile them up in this container to bring them downstairs so I could film for you guys. But I usually keep them in a separate container that actually fits. Um, this usually, normally, this would go with my palettes. But um, for this video, I just decided to put them all in one container for you guys. So, let's get started. The first thing that I want to address, I guess the largest item in the pile would be the Comfort Zone Palette by Wet n Wild. I am going to have to be very careful with this because it is very beat up because it is very much loved in my collection. Um, the palette <clears throat> features eight different shades, but as you can tell, I'll just take that off. That's horrible, I know. As you can tell, I only use this side of the palette just because I feel like I don't know, and actually it's just mainly these two shades that I really, really liked. There is some fallout with this product, but if you do apply a really good base, which I'll talk to you about in just a sec, um, it's from the drugstore as well, you won't have any problems with these creasing, and they have really good pigmentation for it to be the drugstore, and not only that, for it to be a wet and wild product. So, I definitely recommend this from the drugstore. I believe you can pick this palette up for $2.99, $3.99. I'm not exactly sure if I found the price. I'll list it down below for you guys. But yeah, it's a really awesome palette. I really like it and definitely recommend. I'm not saying that you can't use these shades over here. They are just not the shades that I particularly like to go for. I like more a, of a warmer tone shades, which are these, and this is more cool tone shade. The Maybelline Eye Studio this, this has four shades in this. Um, it's like a highlight shade, mostly like a, um, a lid color, maybe another lid color, and then you can use this in the crease. I normally do not like the shimmeriness of these, but honestly and truly, the pigmentation of these, you cannot be. You have a creamy texture. The formula is really nice. I don't find myself using this shade so much because it's almost like a, a really frost color, and I just... I don't know I just don't see myself using it but you could definitely use this for the brow bone area and it would be really nice hey guys, the next product that I have is the L'Oreal infallible everyone has talked about L'Oreal's infallible eyeshadows before I really really give these guys a big fat thumbs up because they are they are literally the best at the drugstore as far as pigmentation as far as the amount of product you get it's, crazy. it's like a loose powder I'm not gonna like take it out and show you because I'll get powder everywhere but um yeah it's like a loose powder and it is very very shimmery so I really like that for a more of a um a nighttime look versus a daytime look that's why it's so hard to find something at the drugstore because most of the eyeshadows I feel like are targeted towards more glitter and when they target the glitter they either have a spray over and it's really not glitter or it's extreme fallout okay, so like this even compared to some of my high-end shadows that have glitter in them i really prefer this over them so yeah definitely would recommend picking that up they are the 24 hour color tattoos and the containers look like this and it's just like a it's almost like a max paint pot each one looks like that and it has like the glass on the bottom i do have four different shades in this and my favorite has to be Bad to the Bronze, and I think that's literally probably everyone's favorite base. You can use these for an eyeshadow base. I actually use this on my eyes today. And as you can see, I've hit pan on that already. I really, really like it. It's like a really good neutral color. I have the color Edgy Emerald. It's a pretty, really pretty emerald color. And I don't think I've really used this. Yeah, like... I have used this quite a bit. It is the color Painted Purple, and it is a purple color. And yeah, I've kind of used that a little bit. And make sh the only thing about these, you need to make sure that you close them up really tightly or they will dry out on you. The next one that I have is in the color Inked in Pink. 
and it looks like this and by the way there's two different lines actually right. the three that i showed you before were tattoo and this one is the color 24 tattoo tattoo metal line so there's two different um lines i'm not really sure i think this one has maybe a little bit more shine or something in it i don't know and the other one's a little bit more matte I don't really, I can't really tell a huge difference in them, but I'm assuming that's what it is, just by swatching it on my hand. Really, really recommend those shadows. Always good for a base before you lay down a shadow. If you don't want to spend money on a high-end um, primer, you can always use that bad to the bronze. I think they have one that's a taupe color that I really want to get my hands on. Uh, your eyeshadow stay on all day long, then I would definitely recommend those products. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!